One of the unique features of Fairley Marsh is almost the entire property is this backwater from the Connecticut River and Lake Maury outflow, which is something quite unique along the Connecticut River. There's a number of oxbows and other wetland setbacks that you find up and down the river, but to find a, a large standing body of water like this makes Fairley Marsh quite unique. Found in the east central Vermont town for which it's named, the 60 acre Fairley Marsh Wildlife Management Area is located where the outlet of Lake Maury empties into the Connecticut River. Over half of the WMA is wetland habitat, making it an important area for both resident and migratory birds. The Fairley Marsh was acquired with state duck stamp money, primarily for migrating waterfowl and duck stamp money was used to make that acquisition, but there is a variety of wildlife species that thrive here as a result. Some of them are very common, like white-tailed deer and, and muskrats and perhaps beavers uh, here and there. Uh, a number of marsh birds are also common here too. If you look closely, you can find uh, herons, great blue herons in particular, American bitterns, uh, a number of um, marshland Sparrows are also common here as well, so it's a, quite a variety of species here. If you spend any time here at all, you'll get to see. Getting to the WMA is relatively easy, but it can't be done on foot. Uh, one of the unique things, among the many unique things for Fairley Marsh, is the access to this area is by water. And it's best to access it at one of the neighboring boat launches in North Thetford or in, uh, if you can cross the river into Orford. There's a boat launch over there as well uh, that will allow you to uh, get to the property. Motorized watercraft are allowed on the WMA, but not recommended. The hidden nooks and crannies of the shallow, weedy marsh are much more accessible with a kayak or canoe. Entering the marsh quietly also increases your chances for up-close viewing of wildlife. Another unique feature of the Fairley Marsh is the Connecticut River Paddle Trail and there's a stopover along the property uh, for overnight stays. It's a pack in, pack out, uh, leave no trace kind of a stay but it offers a, a unique perspective uh, on the property. The WMA also includes more than 25 acres of upland habitat that includes silver maple, aspen, birch and elm. A handful of acorn producing red oak trees provide a food source for deer, wild turkey, and other wildlife. Adjacent to the Fairley Marsh properties are conserved agricultural lands that are still in agricultural use and not only provide farm income for the residents and for the local economy, but also provide habitat in the source of uh, food and cover for migrating birds, uh, particularly the waterfowl, but uh, also local species, uh, as we mentioned, like, like deer, uh, prosper from the farmland that's still in use. Nesting boxes maintained by the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department are utilized by wood ducks and other cavity nesting birds. The marsh is also used as a nesting site for puddle ducks like mallards. During the spring and fall migration periods, a wide assortment of waterfowl and other birds also use the marsh. If you have the means to get there, Fairly Marsh offers a relaxing escape from our fast-paced world. There are a, a wide variety of recreational uses for Fairley Marsh. Uh, duck hunting is perhaps some of the most popular because of the, the waterfowl nature of the property, but the warm water fishing in the marsh and the neighboring Connecticut River is really fantastic, uh, as well as the wintertime ice fishing. Uh, birders and canoeists and other non-hunting recreationists enjoy the area as well. It's really a very rich area in such a small uh, amount of area. Uh, for people to enjoy.